good friend of mine. Um, he's a fixture in the L.A. comedy scene. You may recognize him from a lot of the uh, Golden State Warriors championship commercials of late. Give it up for Brett Riley, everybody. Let him hear it. Um, I think it's okay to be judgmental. I do, you know? I know we're in a weird time, it's election season, you know, everybody's real sensitive. But I think it's okay to be judgmental, I really do. Like, for instance, if I'm in my day-to-day -day and some guy walks up, you know, and says, let me tell you something about America. No, because I'm pretty sure you've never left your county. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or somebody comes up and goes, hey, dog, you was dope, dog. Hey, let me drop some knowledge on you, dog. Let me drop some knowledge on you, partner. No, because I'm pretty sure you didn't study. No? No? I'm just saying, it's okay to be judgmental. I know what I look like, I judge myself. I look like the GM of a Midwestern Applebee's. I do. I look like the guy that comes up to your table and goes, how's our fajitas? <laughs> is, is Tammy treating you okay? <laughs> if, you, if, if you need me, I'll be over by the hostess stand. I, some of our younger ones are having a rough day. That's what I look like, I know that. <laughs> but life has been good to me, okay? Like, my wife is so much more attractive than me. It's like a stamp of validation that I'm kicking life's ass every morning. I'm serious. Like, if any of you gentlemen haven't found the one yet, aim high, okay? Like, aim really high. Like, make sure she's so much more attractive than you that when you get into a fight, you can just look at her and go, you chose me. <laughs> I can't be held responsible for your low self-esteem. I, I've looked like this the whole time. I'm killing it in my group of friends. If you're dissatisfied, it's on you. That's on you. I've been with the same woman for, we're celebrating 11 years this week. Yeah. And we have, a, we have a beautiful three-year-old daughter and we have a nine-month-old son. So, yeah, life moves fast. Like, hmm. Three years ago, I had no children. <laughs> and now I have two on purpose, so. It kinda weirds me out though, cause like, my wife is so sexy. And I just, like it's weird to like almost feel disrespect towards her that she chose to have children with me. You know what I mean? Like, I, like sometimes when she's giving me attitude, I'm like, well, what's wrong with you? But I know why, you know, she's with me. Whenever I have these negative thoughts, I know why she's with me. And it's because growing up on the farm in Kansas, five miles from other humans, uh, I always knew that I was gonna be a badass R&B singer. I just always knew. That is not funny, okay? It's not funny. Your laughter is racism, okay? That's how it works. I know what I look like. I look like Robin, but thicker, okay? I know. I know what I look like, okay? But being a badass R&B singer, our fights aren't like other couples' fights, okay? Because I'm a badass R&B singer. Like whenever she does what you ladies do, and I don't know why you do this, but you'll give us attitude or maybe be a little snippy right when we're about to take you to do something fun. You know what I mean? This seems like an illogical time to pull that. You know what I mean? Which is what causes a fight most couples. Not my house, badass R&B singer. I know how to curb that, you know what I mean? Like whenever she's looking at me like she's annoyed, right when I'm about to take her to go do something fun, I'll just look at her and be like, for real? This is who we're gonna be tonight? It's just how we're gonna act, huh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? You said that you never put a shit again. Oh yeah. Baby, 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 oh, baby, I love you, I really do. So cut it out, let's go. I love music. 
I love music. There's so much good music in the world. It's hard for us to remember that, though, when they're constantly pouring garbage down our throats when it comes to pop music, you know? Like, when did it become cool for a rapper to sound like a hound dog with his nuts in a twist? <laughs> I'm like, what's up, chick? Hello! Bring your skin, yeah. Introduce you to my stove. Cause I'll be playing quiet with my baby. I'll be at the mall getting fly with my baby, yeah. It's a real song. It's a real song. First time I heard this song, I was like, this is awful. I was like, you know what? I was like, you know what? Good for him. Good for him. I thought it was a Make-A-Wish kid. I thought it was a Make-A-Wish kid. I thought someone had made a young man's dream come true. But then he put another song out. Baby, won't you come my way? I can do my one to Headshots won't miss. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. You have one eye, Fetty Wap. You have one eye. You will most likely miss. Death perception is real. What bothers me is that there's everything's irresponsible, right? Like there's a country song. Chilling on the dirt road, laid back, swerving like in George Jones. Smoke rolling out the window and ice cold bear sitting in the console. You're drunk driving. <laughs> you need to cut that out now. You need to call an Uber or a Lyft, you hillbilly. What the? It's unacceptable. So what I'm saying is, it's okay to be judgmental, but treat people the right way, okay, guys? My name is Brett Riley. Thank y'all so much. All right. You guys ready to keep the show rolling? This next dude is coming in right now to do a special pop-in to, to run his, uh, his television spot for you guys. I want you to get it up real loud right now. Get it up for Jeff. Keith, let him hear it. Fred Riley, everybody, huh? What a silky voice. You please go to the bathroom. Thank you.